A Berkeley teacher says assault charges against her should be dropped. She was in court today for her role in a riot that broke out at the state capitol. Yvette Falarka was caught on video punching a neo-Nazi demonstrator, but she says standing up to fascism should not be a crime. KPIX 5's Da Lin was in the Sacramento courtroom where that teacher faced a judge. Da? That's right. Uh, she made a brief appearance inside the courtroom here. Outside, she and her supporters are calling this case a witch hunt. They want the prosecutors to drop the charges. Protesting fascism is not a crime. A small vocal crowd rallies in support of the Berkeley school teacher. Drop the charges. The charges stemmed from this June 2016 fight at the state capitol. Yvette Falarka's group, by any means necessary, was protesting against a white nationalist group. A video shows Falarka repeatedly punching a man. The man had both hands up, walking to a line of police officers for help. Falarka and others dragged the man down and kicked him. Prosecutors charged Falarka with one count of felony assault and two misdemeanor counts of inciting and participating in a riot. Falarka did not enter a plea today. Her lawyers are still waiting for all the documents on the case. These charges are false against me. They should be dropped. She gave a short statement but did not answer any questions. Um, standing up against fascism and the rise of Nazism and fascism in this country is not a crime. We have a right to defend ourselves. Her attorney blames police officers for not stepping in earlier to keep the peace. I think anyone has the right to self-defense. And I think what's shown on that video is partial and incomplete. But some people who have seen the video say that's nonsense. I think it's crazy when you have clear evidence. I mean, you know, I think it would be a real travesty of justice if they actually dropped the charges. Falarka is scheduled to teach at her Berkeley Middle School at the end of the month. The school legally cannot fire her unless she's convicted of a felony. Falarka will return to court October 4th. Now, if convicted of this felony, she'll lose more than her job because that assault charge, well, it carries a lengthy prison sentence. Live in Sacramento, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.